This is my third season. Ryan Solomon does it again. Last year I gave everything and uh, it still wasn't enough. We've had some massive ups and downs in the last 12 months. We started with our wedding almost right after Ninja finished last year and was the best days of our lives. We went on an amazing honeymoon after that. We found out Amy was pregnant, which was just amazing. And um, sadly, we, uh, we lost our little baby at, eight, at 18 weeks. And um, yeah, that was some of the lowest lows. The sad news of losing our bub and, um, you know, Amy's still recovering physically, mentally. The toughest of tough things just brings us together, so it's, um, <laughs> it's nice. Don't you make me cry. <laughs> She'll be there supporting me. She's my number one supporter and, you know, my biggest inspiration to, to go hard, really. Well, we have loved Ryan and Amy since season one and it really has been the toughest of times for them, but we are so glad to have them back for season three and see Ryan back on the course again. He's a lovely bloke as well. And just get this, his semi-final run in season one has been viewed more than 43 million times oh. online. He's a chance of going all the way in season three. Although he was here for season one and season two, now faced with an obstacle he would never have seen before, the butterfly wall. Oh, but he makes easy work of it. Landing on the wall, taking a spin round. Moving his body, moving his feet, getting his arms in the position to take on the rope. Oh, easily done, Ryan Solomon. He's about 10 seconds faster than Reese Landwehr at this point. He means business this season. Got his eye on Matt Midoriyama. Look at that face. The tuning forks are weighed, and Ryan Solomon makes mince meat of the tuning forks. And right at this moment, you've got to be thinking to yourself, all my training is paying off. Look at him go on the rolling steel. That is perfection. Absolute perfection. He makes a difficult obstacle look like a walk in the park, but it is far from that. And this next one whisked away. It's a difficult obstacle. We've already had two ninjas come off this one tonight. Will Ryan Solomon be the first to crack it? Makes the lead onto the first handlebar. Oh, this is not good. He's a heavy guy. He's got to straighten up, straighten up quick. Yeah, he's lining himself up a little bit so he can make that lash A. Oh, no! Crushed it! Oh, that is devastating for Ryan. Veteran Ryan Solomon out on Whist Away. He's now at risk of missing the semis.